Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel, my name is Invin. Today I'm going to be bringing you guys a guide on how to get the best leveling experience from the mid to late levels in the game. So I did an earlier guide on kind of like your starting levels to mid levels, how you can go through the quests very easily and get some XP. And this one's going to be basically your fastest way to gain XP and it's going to be using the town board quest. Now bear in mind I am making this guide during the beta, so when the full release of the game does come out I will make an updated guide because it's undoubtedly going to change because realistically this method is very, very good so as you can see here I've got a cleaving crude iron ornaments in the top left I can go ahead and craft that and it also gives me a ton of crafting weapon XP which is really nice for weaponsmithing go ahead and make that it's going to level me up twice in weaponsmithing and that is for one of the town board quests and that's done so you're going to want to make sure that you've got raw materials like iron and things ready to go in these outposts and settlements here now what you're going to want to be doing is basically using those town board quests to level up as much as you possibly can and basically they give you a ton of XP as much much as the main and side missions, particularly when you level up your crafting skills, so it's then instead going to be refined materials and higher level materials that you're handing in. These can give anywhere from six to 8,000 XP and can often take literally as little as two to three minutes if you have those materials already in your shed. So it's very, very easy, particularly like Ever 4 where I've kept a lot of my stuff. If I'm able to pick up a quest where I already have the items for it, I can instantly turn it in. But that one there I've just made the armaments for, I can go ahead and turn that one in. And that gave me nearly 2k XP for just basic iron armaments, which is really, really nice. Now obviously you can see there's different quests here like hunting the rabbits. These ones give 1400 XP and this one is 690. That's because this one is 25 and this one's 15. Still fairly decent XP for hunting rabbits, but things like crafting 15 common health potions, 26. 600 XP for that. Steel ingots, not that difficult to get. 20, basically 2900 XP for that one. Powerful region potions, quite difficult to get unless you've done a few dungeon runs, then you'll be able to get some of these very easily. And those are 4800. And then the common mana potions down here at 1560 as well. Things like hunting one links, you do get 420 XP. It's not really that much worth the time, so get rid of that and instead pick up this iron one here. It's going to get me a lot more XP, so I'm going to get a 1,000 for doing that one. And basically what you're going to want to do is do that between two or three cities at once. Now, currently what I'm doing is doing one in Everfall, one in Weaver's Fen. Now, this is because our, our faction, the Covenant, owns both of these, and my company actually owns Weaver's Fen, meaning that I am able to travel there to my house, which I can reset the recall for for just 43 as off instead of fast traveling. Currently, it's the same price, but once this timer goes down a little bit, it'll be cheaper to recall to the house. As you can see, I've got very low as off because that is the one main drawback of this method, if you like, is the fact that the as off does cost a lot. But you can get this back very easily by just going ahead and doing these corrupted monoliths or by farming some of the overtop non instance dungeons, such as the one in Monarch's Bluff, which is right down here or right down here, which is basically an above world dungeon. Now, you'll see these in places like Brightwood, and it's anything like Brightwood Isle here, where it has got a red flaming skull, recommended five players, and it's essentially a dungeon or an expedition type experience, but it is not instance, which means there can be several groups there, but the enemies are usually have very high level or elite. It gets you a ton of weapon XP and a very, very decent amount of player XP, so if you can get a good group of five, particularly for these level 35 and 45 zones, when you're on those mid levels and you've got a healer and a tank, you can go ahead and just run through these very, very easily, clearing them out, get a ton of Azov to be able to do this method when you are soloing and when you're in a group doing these methods works really really well like I said there for both player XP and also crucially for that weapon XP you can go from level 1 to 20 on weapons in basically just a couple of hours of farming here which is really really nice so it gives you another method as well as well as the one that we're doing with the town boards but obviously like I said there I'm just doing this between a few so I can fast travel between Weaver's Fen I've got my inn based at Everfall and Windswood where I've put a camp so that if I go into game menu click on respawn click yes Yes. This will take me to the menu where it says I've died. I can then go to my tier 1 camp, which is just parked outside Windswood here. I can go ahead and travel to that one. And I'll show you guys the location I've put this in because it's a very, very good spot. Right here, just outside, if you look on the map, we are literally just outside this exit to Windswood here. And the reason I put it here is because all these little green stems in the floor actually spawn hemp. Like there is some over here as well, and that means that you can basically get a ton of fibers very, very easily from this location. Pretty much near on every time you respawn. Obviously, this time I was a bit unlucky, but nearly every time you respawn, there's hemp very, very close by. And you can also just run in the south direction there, and there's a ton of mobs to kill for food quests. And there's a ton of hemp over there as well, as well as rocks and obviously trees in this area. Fantastic area for all those gathering quests that you might want to do, and makes it a ton easier to complete those very, very basic level ones when you are doing those at the beginning. 
beginning of the game too. But obviously, like I said there, the more you level up your crafting and your refining, you're going to get higher level quests and they give a ton more XP, which is a ridiculous amount and it's really, really nice to have available. Now, another absolutely excellent method, which I touched on earlier in the video, but this is going to be going into the elite areas. So areas such as Perival here in Weaver's Fen is a very, very good area for earning a ton of weapon XP. Primarily, these are consist of elite enemies. In fact, I think exclusively it consists of elite enemies. Lots of very hard bosses, but if you do go in a group of three players or more that know what they're doing, or five with a tank and a healer and three DPSs, you can fly through these zones, providing that you obviously are the level, so this one is obviously level 40. I was able to do this absolutely fine in a group of three at level 35, so it's absolutely dependent on the players and kind of how much self-sustain you've got. But these areas are going to be tremendously good for a lot of reasons, so obviously you get your weapon levels up, that's going to be your main thing. You get a ton of gold off the mobs here, so that's going to be another thing that's great, and on top of that you do get a very, very decent, sizable amount of player overall XP towards your next level. I managed to level up once from 35 to 36 while running this for weapon XP and it is going to be something that I'm going to make a video on very very soon so make sure you stay tuned to the channel for that one for the full in-depth guide on it but just know they are very very good and again is another fantastic way in the mid to late game to be making a ton of XP very very quickly. Now another reason that this method is so good like I mentioned earlier on is actually the crafting XP which you get from doing this so when you get the materials obviously you will get the gas Gathering XP towards the chosen skill, whether that is obviously, of course, your wood cutting, your stone cutting, your mining, whatever it might be. And then you will also get the XP for when you're crafting. So for these ones here, I'm getting weaponsmithing XP. But obviously, when you're doing the refining quest, you will either get wood cutting, stone cutting, cooking, etc. For whichever quest that it is that you need to be doing, and that can level you up nicely and get you a bonus bit of overall XP as well because every time you level up a crafting skill or craft something you get bonus XP and then on top of that as well you've also got the opportunity of getting those refining levels up so that you can make those better level gears and things when you do need to get into those later in the game. Now like I said there I am playing this in the beta version currently so if you are playing this during the beta this method should work really really well for you but if you are playing this at full release and you're watching this video I will do an updated guide for this because realistically it's going to be probably different for the full release. It may not be for whatever reason it may be the same i will give an updated guide if this does change because it's very likely this will change as we get further into the game and a full release comes along so keep an eye on the channel for that one because i will be doing an updated guide so make sure you subscribe for that one but basically for now if you are playing in the beta this is going to be your fastest way to do it now as you can see as well i am getting territory standing levels up which is really really nice you can go ahead and get things like storage xp gain all that good stuff and obviously when i'm doing town quest boards up here for my guilds area it is going to be a lot more beneficial to me because it's going to mean that we can actually get our town projects done level up our buildings all that kind of good stuff and it's going to be a lot faster for doing that if everybody's kind of working from that area as well which is really nice for places like everfall and windswood that become hubs of the server which is why you'll probably see on your server a lot of fighting over these settlements so just teleport back to my house here in weaver's fen i'm going to go ahead and go up to the board here and just claim some of these quests and re-roll them again so when you claim out the ones that you've currently got Generally, you will have a second one available unless you've done it within the 30 minute respawn. But even then, usually there's at least a second one that you can grab straight away. So you're never really going to be running out. You can have up to 50 active town quests at one time. That is quite a lot though. So I would just recommend kind of doing it between two or three because then you can have your inn, your house and your camp set up at one. And you can easily get between all three of them. But I've got three tanned in here. So I'm going to get 1,500 for that one, which gave me a little bit extra. So this one's going to give me 960, but I'm getting 1,059. So it does look like that the faction stand and XP gain that you have in an area does increase this as well which makes this an even better method for fulfilling these options because now you're going to get more when you level up in that area as well which is fantastic that's easy to get, that's easy to get, so we've got some really good quests back for that one as well, and as you can see, again, we've leveled up Territory Standing, we can go in here, and actually this time we can pick Storage, is what I'm going to want, because I'm gathering a lot of stuff in these areas now, but this is really, really good, and then I can go ahead and try and find people, gather one of these corrupted Monoliths with, or some of these smaller Festering Hives up here, if I do want to do those as well, which is going to be a really good way to get Azoth back, as is doing the overhead dungeons, like I mentioned here, this is one example in Brightwood Isle, where you can do them, and these are going to be really good for getting back your Azoth when you have been fast 
traveling around because if you have a look at my Azov now, uh, well, we're not looking too good. We've got 31, but I've been doing this for about an hour, traveling and leveling up, and I've gone up about five levels in an hour, which is pretty good from 31 to 36. So it's definitely a very fast method for doing this as well. But just be make sure to keep a lot of raw materials in your settlements as well so you can do things like those crude ornaments because they do just take iron, green wood, and things like that. So make sure you're not refining everything and then just refine it as you need it as that will be a lot more beneficial to you. Now, hopefully this guide has helped you guys out. If it has, please be sure to leave a like on the video down below. Uh, and let me know in the comments what guide you'd like to see from me next. I'm going to be doing a ton of things covering dungeons and expeditions. I'm going to be covering other leveling methods as I explore them in the late game. And I'm also going to be covering all of the crafting stations and that kind of thing too. So make sure you subscribe for that one with notification bells on so that you don't miss out on a single upload from the channel. Other than that, as always, thank you very much for watching. Take care and peace.